happened earlier this morning, waking up maybe the entire city with the sound of heavy gunfire. Let's go to WMAR 2 News, Brittany Verner with us tonight with what people in that neighborhood witnessed and what they heard. Brittany. Jamie and Kelly will take a look at this video here in the screen. This is what the neighborhood looked like this morning. Neighborhoods told me that shooting led to a chase. That chase led to a crash, leaving one man injured and another one dead following that incident. As soon as I got in, I started getting calls about um, some type of you know, loud noise last night around maybe 1 a.m. in the morning. Simone Shaw said when she arrived to work Wednesday morning, her property looked much different than it had when she left the night before. This, this tree here, of course, this here, um, rows of flower bed, um, even the, the grass area. Um, I did speak to a detective earlier. Um, they are trying to piece together. Um, they say that someone was being chased. Car parts, glass, and the smell of gas still linger where someone crashed their car into a tree after being shot to death. Very shocking. Um, it's pretty quiet, um, pretty new to the property, but um, we really don't you know, have too many incidents um, happening, so it's pretty shocking um, and sad. It happened in Northwest Baltimore near 2500 Cross Country Boulevard just before one in the morning on Wednesday. This is cell phone video captured from a witness in the area. You can see the mangled car where fire crews had to use the jaws of life to cut someone out. They were being shot at and the gentleman uh, must have hit the tree. Police say when they arrived, they observed evidence of a shooting in this crashed vehicle nearby. Inside that car was a driver and a passenger. The driver was shot multiple times before crashing. He later died and the passenger, also injured from the crash, was taken to the hospital. I always say crime doesn't have an address. Unfortunately, it can come to your front door at any given time. Police still putting the pieces together. Detectives are still combing through evidence and working to collect even more evidence, more video and to locate more witnesses. The thing we need more than anything, Barry, is for people who were there and who saw it and know what happened to come forward to help us. Shaw, however, hoping this culture of violence doesn't spill into her community again. And it's a lot, a lot going on with young, young men mainly. Um, in Baltimore being gunned down. It's really sad. Police have not released the name of the man who died in that incident this morning, but coming up at six, we're sharing new details concerning how police will be reporting crimes like this and others in hopes of focusing on the bigger picture of solving these type of incidents. Guys.